Senator John Erpenbach says he and 13 other Democrats who left the state will come back when the governor is ready to talk. Only News 3's David Douglas sat down with him in Chicago where the uh, Democrats said he hasn't spoken with the governor but certainly has a message for him. When we sat down with Senator Erpenbach late last evening, he said he apologized that we had to meet him in Chicago, but he and his colleagues were left with no other choice as he tried to tell the governor to slow down, saying there was no reason to rush. I'd rather be home. <laughs> While he might prefer to sleep in his own bed, Senator John Erpenbach made it clear he is not losing sleep over crossing state lines to avoid a vote on the governor's budget repair bill. This is an extreme piece of legislation, and this was our only option, as, as extreme as this option was. No Wisconsin law can compel he and the 13 other Democrat senators who fled the state Thursday to return. The Middleton Democrat says they'll go back on their own when the governor is ready to talk. His job is to lead responsibly. His job is to lead by consensus, if at all possible. It's his job to sit down with people and talk about, here's where we are, how are we going to get to where we all need to be. Saying he was proud of the demonstrators, both in and outside of the Capitol, Erpenbach told me Wisconsin's climate is, quote, not a happy place to be. And he's concerned about what many protesters may not know. The budget repair bill does more than strip away collective bargaining rights, but leaves the future of state health care programs up in the air. And there's some substantial Medicaid changes in here where the governor all of a sudden is in charge of Medicaid, which is senior care, which is badger care, and he has never once said he, what, he, what he intends to do. And if you thought the move by the group, now dubbed the Wisconsin 14, was a sign of their unwillingness to bend, consider this. In the end, what's going to happen is the public employees are going to pay on their pension, and they're going to pay more on their health care. We all know that. They know that. They're okay with that. The one thing that the public employees do not understand is why is he going after unions. Senator Erpenbach said he doesn't feel like he's on the run, just doing the right thing, though he's not sure how long he and his Senate colleagues will stay out of the state. He did tell us, however, that he feels like the Republicans in the Senate are starting to feel more wary about voting for the bill, and if he finds out there are enough that will vote against it, then that would be their cue to head back to Madison. In Chicago, with photojournalist Brian Messmer, David Douglas, WISC News 3. Senator Erpenbach is staying in an undisclosed location. News 3 has learned several of the hotels the Democrats have checked into across Illinois have begun receiving threats from Tea Party members. And Senator Mark Miller tells us they do have a specific request of their Republican colleagues, but they're not saying what it is yet.